got to go Alabama. But um, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's just part of me that wants to see. Maybe there's part of me that wants to see Texas win the win the win the football game. But I really, honestly, don't believe that's going to happen. Even though I know they have the tools to do it. It tell our listeners about the trio of coordinators, OCDC special teams that Texas has. Oh uh, well, I mean they got Sarkeesian, top five, top, you know, five star offensive coordinator, top five in the country. Um. They got Pete Kajakowski, five-star defensive coordinator, top five in the country. Uh, they got Jeff Banks, four-and-a-half-star special teams coach, top ten in the country. Best, tri- best trio of coordinators in college football. Not, not even – I uh, wouldn't even blink at that. I mean, you, you take those three guys and put them under Nick Saban at Alabama. You take those three guys, put them under Kirby Smart at – Georgia, you take those three guys, put them under Ryan Day at Ohio State. You take those three guys and put them under any super talented team and, and a really, really good head coach, absolutely rock star. Just lights out, hands down, the three best coordinator trio in college football today. Wow. Okay. So if you put that group at LSU. Uh, with, 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 a, with, with a Brian Kelly, right? You put that group, you put that group at Alabama. Oh my gosh, dude! We're just ridiculous. Ridic- but see, that's what Alabama used to have. Right. See, that, that's where that's where people are missing the gap being closed. Everybody talks about the recruiting and Kirby closing the recruiting gap, but one of the biggest things is is the coaching gap that Alabama has pulled back. I mean, that 2011 coaching staff that was the highest graded staff in FBS or FCS since 2009. That 2011 staff. It averaged almost a five-star guy per position, and there's only like 25 five-stars in college football, period. I mean, they, they, and, and so the staffing Alabama had um, in, in previous years was, was ridiculous in the last, versus the last you know, three or four in which you know, it's finally catching up. All these guys getting picked off left and right, right. has regressed the Bama coaching staff. It's still really good. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But not only did Alabama have a huge talent edge 10 years ago, they had a massive coaching staffing edge wow. and that's gone. That's okay. gone. They've fallen back to the pack, which in my opinion, makes them much more vulnerable. Don't miss one moment of the out of bound show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. on ESPN 105.9. The Zone.